small, smaller, smallest. A little bit of history. I started looking at trowers about a couple of years ago, back when I was still a lemon chaser. I went to test my pocket monsters in an outdoor pond. I was expecting to be wowed by the output, but uh, to my disappointment, all my thousands and thousands of lumens just spread it out leaving a big uh, dimly lighted area. As an analogy, probably think of it like you have uh, this massive amount of power, but it has to be divided into many. Whereas in comparison, for throwers, even if you don't have that much power, but when you focus it into one spot, the result should be incredible and fascinating. I hope this makes sense. I know I sounded like a kung fu movie, but I promise you I'm still talking about flashlight here. Hey, welcome back to UDC channel. This is Jay. In this video, I will go over the mini, nano, and n size throwers and compare them uh, to each other. But I will mostly focus on this awesome LEP though. Yeah. This is my first thrower. Well, unless you count this as a thrower. It does have a bit of a throw. This is the Lumin Top GT Mini. Uh, by the way, this is our, all Lumin Tops. I got it when it first came out. It's a mini version of their well-known huge BLF GT. This one is using a Cree XPL LED with maximum 1200 lumens and has a throw of uh, 750 meters and is using Narsil Smooth Ramping UI not um, Endurail it came in this box and it has a long tube for 18650 but I like in the small version small form factor later on they released the GT Mini Pro with brighter more lumens but less throw for some reason they changed the LED to Cree X XPH 50.2 uh, LED, which is rated um, to get over 3500 lumens output, but reduce candela and throw. It is uh, rated only over 480 meter beam distance down from um, 750. And it's still using Narsil um, smooth ramping UI. For me personally, after sacrificing the size with this big head, I would like to get as much throw as possible, not necessarily not necessarily more lumens. And I think they have another one with Endurail, the GT Mini NM1 with uh, 1050 meters um, super throw, which uses uh, the newer uh, Osram KW CSL NM1, that's the name NM1, which is the one to get in my opinion. It has the longest throw and is using Endurail. And they are now available in brass and copper. Maybe I'll get it one day. However, sadly, I don't think there's any short tube for the brass and copper. While this one is included in the box. Normally, I love a 14500 format size if you've been uh, following my channel. But I skipped the GT uh, Micro since I'm not a big fan of the um, size uh, ratio. And there's also no short tube like this uh, mini. Then there's this GT Nano. This time I skipped the black aluminium and waited for the premium metal version. I went with the brass, they are also available in different finishes, titanium and uh, copper. It is using the Osram NM1 LED and is rated for 450 lumens output which is amazing for this size and up to 306 meters throw and can be increased with a longer 10440 tube to get um, 730 lumens plus slightly longer uh, throw 370 meters from the 306 meters but just like the micro I don't really like the longer form factor but I might still get it because the run time is really uh, bad on this um, 10180 because it really seems like an afterthought design to solve the its biggest issue which is run time honestly I think this is a bit gimmicky the throw is amazing for its size, but the short run times makes it uh, impractical. It's understandable with the tiny 10180 battery and that output. Come, it came in this box. It's 
in comparison most of my other 10180 lights only have maximum 130 lumens yep. versus this has a 450 lumen that's why they only use the longer 10 440 tube for the gt nano pro that they came up after that uh, which uses three Cree XPL high or there also an option for Nietzsche 219C or um, Lubinus SST20 LED options he has an insane 1620 lumens I can't imagine the run time or the step down if it's using the, this tiny um, 10180 battery but because of the triple LED, LEDs the throw is greatly reduced to just um, 165 meters and I'm not sure why you would want a triple LED I guess for the output uh, me personally I will go with a better looking um, nicer ratio FWAA with the bigger um, 14500 battery and not not much bigger in size if it's using the 10440 battery take a closer look this one has a green LED indicator this one has a red one which looks nice I think with the brass much um, smaller heads as always I hated this um, unaligned uh, lanyard hole this GT Mini is a decent thrower the short tube makes it uh, more portable but the big head makes it um, kind of impossible to pocket carry it as a result I almost never carry this and this GT Nano is tiny and has a really amazing throw for its size But the limited runtime makes it a novelty. Which brings us to this laser excited phosphor light, the ant man. Unlike LED, it can throw quite far even with um, such a low lumens. And the head does not need to be big either. Of course it will help um, to throw further with a bigger head. I was already intrigued when they announced the aluminum version which looks like this this is the box that came with this has the um, aluminum body uh, picture the eye stone wash but uh, I was holding back for this particular one I knew they will come up with the premium metal versions like uh, always and not just for the aesthetics there are some improvements as well now there are two modes inst instead of just one and with the uh, increased max maximum output 165 lumens for the aluminium versus 80 and um, 300 lumens for the titanium so this provides low which is about half the old one and high which is about double the output nice spacing on paper but uh, we'll see how they are in the beam shot later the Ant-Man um, titanium is rated at uh, 700 throw a slight increase from the 590 meter throw of the aluminum and instead of the instead of the golden washer this gets upgraded to a gold ring like the bigger uh, Thor 2 brother interestingly it happens to be the same size as my ring if you notice it I've been wearing it but this probably will fade like the ones on my two other lumin tops with gold rings it's pretty much silver now maybe I'll try to find a way to apply some um, clear coating to prevent it from fading unlike the Tor 2 they don't sell the replacement glow ring so I improvise this is just some glow tapes which is nice yeah and the head on the head as well they still retain the blue to bow turbo glow ring bezel ring which is always a smart design since it's automatically get charged every time the flashlight is used and in addition to that they also added three tritium slots in the titanium version i wish they designed similar to the tor 2 
where the slots are on the head with holes so that the glow tubes can also be charged when the flashlight is on and I believe this is not the standard 1.5 uh, times 6 millimeter they are a bit loose and quite a bit shorter I think the 1.5 times 8 millimeter will probably fit better I'm using the RGB combo normally I would prefer just green and blue which are the brightest and the best combination in my opinion but all of the other Thor series are using these 3 RGB color combination so for this one I think I will follow they do look nice before purchasing actually the first time they announced the titanium prototype I had already asked if it also has a RGB tail switch like the Thor 2 and they say yes I was a bit disappointed to find out that they don't it seems it's using the same button as the glowing um, tool AA button switch I may try to swap them at some point the knurling is also get upgraded I know some people would prefer a more standard cleaner knurling like this uh, tool AA titanium but I think this fits the whole um, lightsaber theme better funny that this looks more pineapple than all my pineapple lights I really like this uh, stone wash finish so much that I was willing to wait uh, longer to get it it was only available in sandblast titanium when I wanted to get it when you compare this with um, LED throwers what I love about this is that the head as I said earlier is not huge some spells are more practical in use for the LED but that also means taking some output away from the focus beam as you can see there is no spill at all almost no spill at all versus um, this spill there are other um, tours that uh, worth mentioning the Tor 1 in polished titanium also looks uh, dope and the uh, Tor 5 except the excessive uh, glow in the dark especially the letter T I love their design so much I will still get them even if they are LED instead of LEP I chose the Ant-Man titanium because I like their design best and if you follow my channel you might know that 14500 is my favorite format it is the cheapest as well uh, for the premium metal versions the original Tor 2 is also not bad especially in titaniums this does not throw far rated at only 700 meter and a bit less than the, my previous LED thrower the, this GT Mini is rated at 750 meters but look at the difference in the head and the reflector size about the same height with the short tube in comparison most of my 14500 LED flashlight with a similar size average around maybe 60 to 80 or maybe 100 meters um, throw only okay some specs the low is rated at 80 lumens and has a runtime of about 1 hour 10 minutes and the high of 300 lumens for 2 minutes and then it's stepped down for additional 58 minutes and has a 700 meters throw and it's already uh, getting warm now it's not something you will um, use for an extended period of time just like a 10180 battery is too small for the GT Nano the 14500 battery is also kinda too small for an LEP although the runtime is still a bit better than the Nano okay for the UI as you've seen earlier fully press the switch to turn on and another click to off commentary on is a half press since it's a forward switch forward clicky the output change continuous half press to switch mode and fully press to lock to lock out at the selected output memory mode memory is also available after after turning off for um, three seconds except for the stroke modes there are two uh, special modes hidden modes stroke and poly stroke for stroke two quick clicks and uh, for polish strobe 6 taps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
Okay, that's it. Let's do a beam shot next. It's gonna be a fun one. This is probably the most interesting beam shot comparison that I have done before. Trowel lights are usually not very practical, especially for EDC, but I started to understand the fun. I'll try to bring along a green laser uh, for comparison. Thanks all. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the D4 V2. Supposed to be three to 4,000 straight to turbo. And then this uh, no brand thrower. And this uh, GT Nano again straight to turbo. Next up, the GT Mini again, also straight to turbo. Last but not least, the end man. Okay. Let's compare that with the real laser. Now let's compare with the GT Mini. They're both supposed to be 700. It doesn't fit my wedding ring as it's a bit tight but I found my old random ring and it fits perfectly. I might try to find other um, rings to try on.